Congratulations, Modi. Um, a fabulous piece of news for you and your family. Thank you very much. We're very excited. So did this, did this come out of nowhere for you, or were you always thinking that this might happen or hoping that something like this might happen? I'm not hoping for sure. Uh, my attention has always been kind of fully on breakers and the challenges that the breakers job kind of has. Um, over the past year, there's been a bunch of flirtations with a bunch of different teams and a bunch of different leagues in the world. And um, I guess it was always a matter of time when the kind of right offer came. And uh, this one is definitely it. In terms of the style of basketball that's played up there and, and, and also the, the standard of the league, explain those two things to us. Well, B-League is you know, probably the fastest growing league in the world now. Um, the influx in money over the past three, four or five years has completely changed the trajectory. Um, all the games are kind of sold out and you know, there's big name imports everywhere with big budgets. Uh, structure of the league is a little bit different. There's only three imports and only two of them can play on the court. So the locals have a little bit more of a weight than, than they do in the NBL. Um, as far as style goes, it's probably a little bit more of a systematic uh, league, a little bit more execution, a little bit more plays, um, a little less kind of NBA influenced. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an interesting challenge for me. Now, that's one of the questions it's going to ask you, because obviously with this Pathways program created for young players to come and play in the ANBL, does that same thing exist up in Japan? No. Uh, Next Stars is a project that's unique kind of to the Australian NBL, and in reality, I think uh, we're going to see a shift in that too fairly soon. So, uh, the NIL contract in college, uh, the fact that college players, basketball players today get paid so much money, um, basically address the issue that the Next Star program was meant to address in the first place, right? It was all based on the fact that high school graduates cannot go and get paid and turn professional, and now they don't turn professional. They just make millions of dollars playing in college. So I think we're going to see a big shift in that space regardless. Modi, if, if this hadn't have come through, what, what were your plans? What were the immediate plans for the breakers? You were obviously wanting to stay for this coming upcoming season, another season after that. How many years were you thinking? I mean, I had one more year on my deal, so uh, the next season was kind of the last one. And I've been in this business long enough to know that you don't really make long-term plans. You do the best you can with what you got, um, with kind of where you are, where your feet are planted. And hopefully that's enough for people to want you to stick around, and that would be great. And you, know, you really never know. You just want to win and see what happens. Is this come at the right time for you both as a person and a coach? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I obviously decided to do it. So I guess uh, I feel that in, to a degree, yes. But um, it wasn't something that I was looking for or I was not dissatisfied or there wasn't any kind of lack of challenge or anything like this with the breakers. I was, if I was completely you know, excited and juiced up and ready to go for kind of season 24-25 in the NBL. And uh, this offer came about, and it's just a little bit better for me and the family, so I decided to take that one too. Is it lucrative? Can I ask that? Yep. Great. Okay. Yep. Well, you're not going to do it if it's not going to actually sort of, you know, work in that department either, is it? <laughs> no. Yeah, do you get, I mean, uh, just as a person, what what courses through your veins? Do you get excited? Do you, do, you, do you get even a little nervous about what lies ahead? Um, I'm very excited. Um, the project that I'm going to is a very interesting one. It has, it's very new and it's a new team that's kind of going into a new gym and a new facility. So it's, there's a, there's almost like a blank kind of canvas where I can have my input on something that wants to be great down the road. Um, so I'm excited about that very much. Um, Everything that has to do with the family leaves me a little bit nervous. You know, it's a completely different country, completely different language, completely different culture. Uh, it's definitely not Auckland. So um, from that standpoint, yeah, I'm definitely nervous. I want my family to be happy and well, and hopefully we're able to put the right stuff around them.